Hi guys! So today is the 28th day of the 31 Days of Horror and for today I'll be reviewing the film The Last Broadcast. Now this film came out in 1998, a year before The Blair Witch Project. So these films get compared quite often and they both are kind of credited with starting the whole found footage subgenre of horror. The Last Broadcast follows a documentary that is investigating the fact or fiction murders from a few years before. Fact or Fiction was a low budget show that investigated unsolved mysteries and dealt with uh, the paranormal. The show had a low viewership and to get some ratings they decided to take a request to investigate the Jersey Devil in the uh, Pine Barrens. The two hosts of Factor Fiction were Stephen and Locus, and also they decided to take with them two other people, Jim, who claimed to be a psychic, and Rain, who was a cameraman who said he could capture audio of the paranormal. They were simulcast, uh, simultaneously broadcasting what they were filming on their um, on the network and the internet, etc. Only Jim came back from this trip into the Pine Barrens. The bodies of Locust and Rain are found brutally murdered. And there, although there is lots of blood evidence found at the crime scene, Stephen's body is never located. The only thing that they find of Stephen's was his yellow hat. So Jim was convicted, well tried and convicted for their murders, and he later died of unknown causes in prison. David Lee is the person who you hear and who is doing this documentary and it investigating everyone that knew basically Jim and the police, some police officers, and different people that were associated with the case. trying to find out if Jim was really the murder or if something else happened. And you get to see bit by bit footage of what they shot while in the Pine Barrens. Now the last broadcast, like I said, is compared to um, Blair Witch Project because they were so came out so close together. Some main differences with these two, number one, is the budget. The last broadcast was made for a budget of $900, which is pretty impressive to make a film for that much, or how little that is. And uh, Blair Witch Project obviously had a bit of a bitter, bigger budget. And also the Blair Witch Project was better than this film. The main problem with the last broadcast is... Again, it is a found footage film. It kind of helps start this subgenre. But you don't really see a lot of the found footage. You're you see a lot of the documentary being filmed, but of the footage that was shot for Fact or Fiction in the Pine Barrens, you will only get glimpses of the footage and then we get shown some of the same bits of footage over and over again. So, we really don't know what's happened there and we don't really there's none of that suspense that builds like there was with Blair Witch Project. So without that suspense, you're not really engaged in the story or what's happening. Because although the case is interesting, we're not really shown anything interesting. And because of that, the level of engagement in the film is pretty low. I will admit this got pretty boring because you just have these long stretches of nothing happening, nothing interesting being shown. And also the man filming or making this documentary, his voice was very monotone and that added to the overall just lack of engagement you had with it and just the level of boredom. It was just hard staying awake through this. And again, it's not a question of 
patience with films or whatnot. It's just with bad pacing and with nothing really happening, it's going to be boring. And then you're not going to really care what happens. And the ending, which I'm not going to give away, it kind of just came out of left field. I didn't really understand the ending and I didn't really get the motivation for the ending. So yeah, it just, like I said, it's kind of boring. You didn't really get to see much of the found foot footage, which was the main focus of the movie. Yeah, just kind of trouble staying awake with this one. So, the last broadcast, I'm afraid I had to give it a 4 out of 10. It was an interesting concept, it just didn't play out very well. And Blair Witch is definitely, again, had a bigger budget, but the found footage was used in a better way in Blair Witch. So, that was my review for the last broadcast for the 28th day of the 31 Days of Horror. And as always, thank you for watching.